Hi Bruce from Safari. We're in front of this VW Crafter here today, but we're here to show off the Killer Wasp and how easy it is to operate. Now we ship this product out without an operating manual and some people think we're crazy, but uh, Apple do the same with their smartphones. And I've got LEDs on this. It should be so simple to operate. Now the, the Killer Wasp is here, just the fundamentals. It's a thousand watts, 80 amps DC to DC. We've had a lot of rain here in Queensland. It's got water on it. It is totally potted, which means it can uh, be actually submerged apart from the terminals there of course but even in fresh water they can be submerged so you'll see down here on the left a green light that's on that means everything's working inside of it and it's good to go and we're going to start up now and you can see the meter over there is showing the current in 12 volts coming out of it now a thousand watts this is going to charge just over 13 volts this is a smart alternator in here so we're going to see between 75 and 80 amps on this and Donovan let's start up after we start up we've got a time delay waiting for the smart alternator to uh, bed itself down and then what you'll see is once we get to voltage the little LED you see it there flash once and then it'll actually go solid uh, red so as it starts up it's still getting the um, alternator to the smart alternator to kick in and now it's fully kicked in and there it is there we're getting 74 amps 74.7 amps out of it right now uh, the voltage is quite high, it will be about a thousand watts going inside and the LED in here now is red so basically red means it's hot, it's generating power and green means it's safe and uh, it's uh, good to go and then when we turn off, uh, Donovan turn off you'll see the light will go back to green and that also tells you that it's not going to drain the starter battery so while you've got a green light here there's no chance of it taking any power out and we'll just do one more start up. Donovan, start up again. And you'll see when we start up again, the smart alternators are a bit tricky to pull the power out. I've got a delay, I've got exactly the same strategy on this that I have on uh, Scotty in how we do what I call sticky pin. And uh, it'll take two or three times from start up for the smart alternator, and then uh, it will then kick in and hold. And that's it there, kicking in and hold. And so the the tricky part for people, thanks Donovan. The tricky part for people when it goes, uh, when it doesn't perform, is the size of the cabling from here. So if the cable here is too small, you'll then get red and green light there flashing because it just can't hold the voltage. Now, this is only 80 amps, in Scotty we pulled 250 amps out. So uh, you, in this case here, we've got a 50 uh, millimeter cable coming out from here up into the fuse block up there. You can see where I've got the clamp meter on and then we're going out of here then to the uh, battery in the rear. Um, now the charge voltage that comes out of this, it'll go into a bulk charge of 14.4 and then goes back into a float of 13.5. So that's suitable for virtually um, every um, uh, battery that's out there and it'll hover between those two. It's got all sorts of smart algorithms in it and uh, you don't need a manual for it because we've got LEDs on it, I've got to say. How good's that?